Good morning, my friends. Today is Sunday, January 8th. It is the Solemnity of the Epiphany of the Lord. This is normally celebrated on January 6th, which is the 12th day of Christmas, hence the 12th day of Christmas song. Uh, but the church moves it to the nearest Sunday, so more people will celebrate it. Um, unfortunately, if we celebrated this on Friday, many people wouldn't come. So please don't stay at home for the Epiphany. Go to church. This is a big feast day. Um, what does Epiphany mean? You know, we often hear people say, I, I had an Epiphany. It means I had a revelation. And so an Epiphany in Scripture is a revelation or a manifestation that Jesus is the Son of God. And so we know the story, right? The, the Magi are, are pagans who are studying the stars. They're studying the prophecies. And this is not a normal occurrence because they travel a long distance, a, a difficult journey, and they come to worship uh, this little baby who we know is the Son of God. And so something major is happening here. We also know that King Herod, you know, it says was greatly troubled. He saw this new king as a threat. Um, and Jerusalem was troubled. We all should be troubled in the sense that as Simeon prophesied, this Jesus would be the cause of the rise and fall of many. This Jesus would change human history as we know it. And even, you know, the years are calculated based on the arrival of Jesus into the world. They know they're trying to change the B.C. and A.D. to, you know, um, B.C.E. before the Common Era. You know, it's because Jesus came that the world was changed. And so that Herod sends these magi uh, to, to worship this newborn king. But what he really wanted to do was to get news from them to kill this child. And if Herod had just gone to worship himself, he would actually become a better king. I've actually heard husbands say, that they're jealous of Jesus because their wives love Jesus more than they love them. And I think you've got it all wrong. It's beautiful that your wives love Jesus. You love Jesus too, and you'll be a better husband. Your, your wives will love you even more. Jesus is the super glue of marriage. And so making Jesus the center of our lives makes us better at everything that we do, makes us better people who we are. So what are the lessons of this scene, and I'm gonna bring you closer into this scene so you can contemplate it while I'm speaking. I've got four lessons here from the Epiphany. One is, you know, the Magi were actively seeking uh, the star. We have the star up there. They were looking for the signs. They're looking for opportunities. And you think about in our lives, you know, do we notice the stars in our lives? Do we notice those signs that God gives us to say, you know, Jesus is here, that God is with us, Emmanuel? The second point is, you know, the, the Magi traveled long distances to meet Jesus. It was a, a difficult journey. And I know people out there who will get up at four o'clock in the morning to make their, their tea time on the golf course but getting up for a noon mass is very difficult. Now guys, I know I'm calling you out a little bit, but you know, where are our priorities? These Magi show us that Jesus should be our top priority and revolve everything else around it. As I said before, you know, loving Jesus will make you a better man, woman, will make you a better husband, wife, might even make you a better golfer, who knows? The third point is, uh, they gave their most precious gifts to Jesus. So if we see these gifts here, they offered, what, frankincense, gold, and myrrh. So incense, still used today in the worship of God. Gold was offered for kings, and myrrh was offered for somebody who was going to die. They were used to anoint the body. So Jesus is the king of the universe. Jesus is God. And even here we see that he's born to die. He's put in a manger, which is a, a feeding trough for animals. He was food for the life of the world. Um, and they put him in swaddling clothes, which means he was the unblemished lamb of God. And finally, the fourth point is the Magi, after coming to worship Jesus, they went back a different route. And 
This is symbolic, meaning when we encounter Jesus, we don't go back to the same person. Our lives are changed forever. You may, may notice St. Francis right behind me, who was the one who encouraged us to have these nativity scenes in our homes. So let us pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you and praise you for your son, Jesus. We thank you for revealing him as your son. Help us to come worship him, to give him our greatest gifts, to give him everything that we have, to love him more than anything else and anyone else in this world. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Please continue to like, subscribe, and share these videos with at least one person today. To you and to your family, Buen Camino, Happy Epiphany. God bless you.